This video shows how to configure your PC to work with the RS-45 output on an AlphaPix 16 or an AlphaPix 4. The only difference between these controllers being that one has a single output and one has three outputs. On an AlphaPix Flex, you have two RS-45 outputs. Now, check our other videos for how to wire this. This is not going to cover that. We already have a wired solution. We have it hooked up to an EasyPix. Now, the same testing will also work with the 30-channel dumb DMX controller or any other DMX device that is using RS-45. All right, so let's first go into the configuration on the controller. So I open up the web browser and I'm going to go to the default IP address of this controller, which in this particular case is 0 0.50 on an alpha fix. And we're going to go down to the section here where it says RS-45. Now, you'll see that there are three sections for one, two, and three outputs, and that corresponds on an alpha pick 16 as one, two, and three. Now, the numbers are indicated in between the plugs. You may need to pull the plugs out to see those clearly. And we can configure them as needed. Now, if you're not sure which of these plugs or anything, just go ahead and configure all of your universes the same in all of these and make sure that all of them are enabled. We're going to go ahead and leave ours at the default of universe one. Now, one universe is 512 channels. And so now we're going to switch over to X lights and we're going to configure that. And in X lights, we simply go in here, we go to the setup tab and we go to add E131 because we're actually outputting to an E131 device. We're going to select Unicash, put in the IP address. And that is the IP address that we just entered before. We have one universe. And we have uh, one universe, and the starting universe is number one. And in this particular case, we only have two pixels, so that's actually only six channels. So we're going to put six channels. And this one, we have an easy pick, so I'll just write easy picks for reference. I'm going to click OK. Now, we can go up here to Tools, then Test. And if we now look at these pixels here, we will see that if we go in, select them, and choose Background, now let's move this out of the way here and make these go up and down. We can see that these are going on and off just like we would expect. This is how you configure an AlphaPix 16 RS45 with X lights.